Hey guys, what's up? I am so excited because today I'm going to be playing with new makeup. Today I'm going to be reviewing new makeup from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is going to be part of her Hot Tropics collection, which is available on her website. This is a limited edition collection, so you really need to go get your hands on it as soon as you possibly can. It has been out since July 13th. My products just came in. There are four products in this collection and I did not purchase everything. I only got a shade from three of the things. The fourth one was a liquid highlight. I'm not really the kind of person that wears liquid highlight. So I didn't feel the need to purchase that. I did buy all of these products with my own money and I'm excited to do a review today. So I purchased a lip oil. This is the shade Ruby Drip. So it's a very bright coral color. I also purchased a cream bronzer. This is the shade Beachy. I love the packaging by the way. It's this gorgeous bronze with this faded palm leaf on it. And then I also got one of her putty highlighters. This is in the shade Skylight and I'm excited to wear them today. I have already put on my base makeup and I did my eyes. I did all of that off camera because I really just want to focus on Jaclyn Cosmetics today. So I went ahead and did my complexion, but I did not set my face with powder. I intended to go in with this cream bronzer. I love this packaging as well. This is in the shade Beachy. I have not touched this yet. And I hope that it works and that it looks really good. So this is a very interesting, very creamy formula. This is a very light color, but it's very neutral. She talks about this on her YouTube channel and I did watch that video and she talked about how she didn't want it to be super pigmented because she wanted to be able to build it up. So I'm hoping that that is what happens today. So I don't use cream products that often, but when I do, I will go in with a brush and I will stipple it into the skin. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I have a mirror down here at the corner. And for cream bronzer, I like to start at the top of my ear, go down and then curve upward around my cheekbone. Now right off the bat, I can tell this shade is a little bit light for me. But it could be, I just need to build it up. Oh wow, okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Try and blend up as much as you possibly can so that you can contour your face. It is blending, but it is taking quite a bit of effort to blend, so just be aware of that. This is where I'm at right now. Now I'm gonna do the other side. This is very creamy. Now I'm gonna blend it out. I may be using the wrong tool, but this is taking quite a bit of work to blend into the skin. If these products were more pigmented, I would say that you would be able to put it on beneath your foundation, put your foundation on over it, but you really have to build up the color. So now I'm going to contour my chin. I don't typically use swiping motions for cream products because a lot of times when you do that, you can take off the foundation beneath it. I do like this tone. It's very cool, so it's good for contouring the face. I don't typically like warm tone bronzers because I feel like with my fair skin, it can kind of look muddy and just not very good. So this is where we're at. Typically with cream products, cream bronzer, cream blush, I will set them with a powder bronzer and blush 
In this case, I'm not gonna be doing that because I really want that bronzer to shine through. So now I'm going to set the rest of the face because one thing that she mentions in her video is that these putty highlights, they can be applied before or after powder. So I wanna see how well it works. Most cream products you should put on all at once before powdering because if you powder and then try to use it, it can lift off some of your makeup, it can look patchy and it's just not a pretty look. But I'm going to try this out today since that's what she says. She was very adamant that that was the one thing that she wanted whenever she created this highlight. She wanted to make sure it could be put on over top of creams, but also after you finish your entire face. So I'm just using my Thrive Cosmetics powder. And if you're wondering what I have already on my face, you can look in the description box below. I list all the products there. So I'm just setting that cream bronzer so it doesn't move around. I am wearing a matte foundation, so usually I don't set the outside of my face but I'm just wanting to set the cream product. And then a little bit in the T-zone, because I do get oily there, especially in the summer. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of blush, since she did not have a blush in this collection. She just came out with a collection called Bougie Rouge, which is blushes. She had cream blushes and powder and they are beautiful, but I have not purchased those. I'd like to try them though at some point. This collection is limited edition, so I wanted to get my hands on it first. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the highlight. She said she likes to use her beauty sponge or a brush. I prefer a brush, so that's what I'm gonna use. I got the shade Skylight. It's this beautiful bronzy tone. I hope that it's not too dark for my skin. Wow, this is an interesting formula. It's definitely a putty. You can see where I swatched it. Wow, it is <laughs> very blinding. I feel like this would look good on deeper skin tones. I hope this works for me but I'm very fair so we'll just have to wait and see okay right off the bat there's not as much pigment with a brush but that might be a good thing if you don't like blinding highlights you might be able to build it up It. it doesn't leave a sheen on my face, which a lot of darker highlights will do that. Put it on my nose, keep its bow. I'm interested to see how this works using a beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna use the back of my beauty sponge and see if I can get this to be more pigmented. think it is. I like it a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to get up close and personal and I'm going to see if there's any separation. This does have a mirror in it, so I like that. I don't see any separation. I don't see any color when you look straight on. There's no shadow here, which I like. It's very glowy. 
I like it on the tip of my nose, although I may have put a little bit too much. <laughs> Didn't realize how blinding it would be. I want to put some on my brow bone. Oh my lord. That is pigmented. I bet this would be a gorgeous inner corner highlight too, but I've already applied an inner corner highlight. So I'm not gonna do that today. I think I need to bronze up the forehead a little bit. Let's see if this will layer on top of powder. No, it does not. <laughs> It has started to pick up some of the makeup beneath it, and it's just not a good look. So we're gonna get rid of that. So definitely 100% use the cream bronzer before you set the face or use any product powder products whatsoever. But this highlight did really well on top of my cream products and it is very buttery, smooth. I love the shade. And I love how it looks on the skin. These products were not super affordable, I will say. A lot of the products that Jacqueline comes out with are pretty pricey and you know i i really like high-end makeup i like jacqueline's products they work really well they're beautiful but if i'm spending my hard-earned money on it i usually go for drugstore products just because it's more affordable and i feel like you can find drugstore products especially nowadays that work just as well as high-end Although I don't know of any putty highlighters at the drugstore. So this is definitely an interesting product and a new product for me. I've never used a putty highlight and I really like it. Now I have one more product from Jaclyn. This is the Lip Oil in Ruby Drip. This is super pigmented in the, well, in the component, but I don't think it is on the lips. This is a huge doe foot. Okay, yeah, it's definitely more sheer. I don't think this will go with the look at all, but I'll go ahead and apply this to bare lips. It doesn't have a scent. Okay, I think that added quite a bit of pigment, more than I was expecting. And I don't usually go for colors like this. I typically wear nude lips and I typically go with glosses instead of lip oils, but I like this. It's not sticky, but it's thicker. So that means it's gonna be longer lasting. And it has a high shine. So what do you think? I really like how the look came out. I do think that I'm gonna go ahead and apply some powder bronzer on top, just because I don't feel like I'm bronzy enough. Maybe if I was more tan, sure, but I feel like I need some more bronze to the skin. So I will be doing that once I'm finished filming. I really like the collection and I can't think of the prices on top of my head but I will leave them in the description box down below so you can check that out if you're curious how much all of this costs. And if you like this video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I put a video up every single week. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.